Photosynthesis involves converting light energy into chemical energy. Photosynthesis is one of the processes that help plants manufacture their own food. Photosynthesis changes sunlight into chemical energy, splits water to liberate oxygen, and fixes carbon dioxide into sugar. In photosynthesis, light from the sun, water absorbed by the roots, and carbon dioxide from the air produce sugar and oxygen. The sugars produced are the plant's food. They are broken down for energy or stored as proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Consists of metabolic processes by which visible light is trapped and the energy is used to synthesize compounds such as ATP and glucose. Sunlight reaches the chlorophyll pigment molecules, which enables the photochemical systems to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and to oxygen. This is the photosynthesis equation, listing all reactants and products. Six molecules of carbon dioxide and 12 molecules of water in the presence of sunlight for energy and chlorophyll pigments form one molecule of glucose, six molecules of oxygen, and six molecules of water. Because water is both a reactant and product in the photosynthesis process, we may simplify the equation by accounting for net water consumption. In this representation, the six molecules of oxygen in the product are freed from the use of water molecules during the reaction. Autotrophs are organisms that can make their own food, such as plants and algae, and do not need a living energy or organic carbon source. Heterotrophs are organisms, such as humans and animals, that must consume their food by eating other heterotrophs or autotrophs in order to produce energy to survive. Autotrophs that make their own food by using light as an energy source are called phototrophs. Phototrophs that anabolically convert carbon dioxide into organic material are known as photoautotrophs. Therefore, organisms that make their own food by using light as an energy source in order to convert carbon dioxide into organic material are called photoautotrophs. These photoautotrophs fix carbon. Carbon fixation is the ability to convert carbon dioxide into sugars. Photoautotrophs synthesize food directly from carbon dioxide and water using energy from light. When the process of photosynthesis releases oxygen, it is called oxygenic photosynthesis. Photosynthesis begins when sunlight penetrates the green chloroplast bearing cells of plants. The transparent epidermis layer allows light to pass through to the mesophyll cells. The palisade mesophyll have the largest concentration of chloroplasts and are the main location of photosynthesis. The palisade mesophyll cell has the largest concentration of chloroplast organelles, can contain 80 or more chloroplasts. The chloroplasts contain the green chlorophyll pigment molecule. Chlorophyll is the primary means plants use to intercept light. Plants also use carotins and xanthophyll pigments to capture light for photosynthesis. Outer chloroplast membrane. Semiporous. Small molecules and ions easily diffuse across, but is not permeable to larger proteins, which must be assisted in order to pass through. Intermembrane space. Separates the outer and inner membranes, believed to be the area where a structural mesh-like layer, peptidoglycan, wall once was. 
consisting of sugars and amino acids. Inner membrane, highly specialized with transport proteins, assists the movement of substances across the membranes by facilitating diffusion or active transport and regulates the passage of materials in and out of the chloroplast. Thylakoid, embedded in the stroma region, has interconnecting flattened membrane compartments, is similar in lipid composition to the inner envelope membrane. Thylakoid lumen, a single continuous aqueous compartment, assists the movement of protons from light-dependent reactions inside a chloroplast on the thylakoid membrane. The movement of protons through the lumen creates a proton gradient across the thylakoid membrane, necessary for forming ATP. Thylakoid membrane contains photosystems 1 and 2, which harvest solar energy to excite electrons, which travel down the electron transport chain. Photosynthetic pigments are embedded directly in the membrane. Has a proton gradient that creates a photomotive force used by ATP synthase enzyme to form ATP in cyclic photophosphorylation. Contains a complex pathway of synthesized lipids. one stack of interconnecting, flattened, membrane-bound thylakoid discs. A chloroplast cell can contain over 80 stacks of discs. Multiple stacks of discs are called grana. Grana are connected by stroma thylakoids. Granal thylakoids refers to the stack-arranged pancake-shaped thylakoid discs in grana. Each thylakoid is tightly packed, making their membranes continuous. These membranes contain the photosystem II protein complex in the light-dependent reactions. The granal thylakoid membrane that contains the photosystem II protein complex is actually the flat surface parts of the disc. The protruding edges of the disc contain the large protein complexes of photosystem I. The membrane of the protruding edges are part of the stromal thylakoid. Stromal thylakoids. Long helical interconnecting thylakoids which link different grana. Wrap around the grana as helicoid sheets, also known as frets or lamella thylakoids. The helices ascend and connect to each granal thylakoid at a slit junction to form a continuous thylakoid space. The stromal thylakoid membrane contains the large protein complexes of photosystem I and ATP synthase. Stroma, colorless, protein-rich aqueous fluid within the chloroplast, surrounds the structures inside the chloroplasts. Many chloroplast subcellular components and materials are floating in the stroma. Location of chloroplast DNA and protein processes. The Calvin cycle takes place in the stroma. Nucleoid dispersed throughout the stroma, tightly packed, containing mostly genetic material. Ribosome helps the chloroplast synthesize some of its own proteins, translates genetic encoding to determine the correct sequence of amino acids for a particular protein. Plastoglobulus, spherical globules of lipids and proteins, contains structural proteins and enzymes involved in lipid synthesis and metabolism. Starch granule, accumulations of starch in the stroma, 
are used for fuel and sugar export. Light energy radiating onto the chloroplast strikes the pigments and excites their electrons. These pigments convert photons into chemical energy. Chlorophyll molecules are specifically arranged in and around photosystems that are embedded in the thylakoid membranes. Chlorophyll is a green pigment molecule with a particular range of light wavelength absorption, mostly in the blue portion of the electromagnetic spectrum and some of the red portion. Chlorophyll is a poor absorber of the green portion of the spectrum, which is why the molecule appears green. There are different structured chlorophyll that occur naturally, some with variations in the range of light they can absorb, and some found in different organisms such as algae. Chlorophyll A is the primary or core photosynthetic pigment plants use. Chlorophyll B is an accessory photosynthetic pigment, which primarily absorbs light in the blue portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. There are two distinct steps in the photosynthetic process. The light-dependent reactions, light cycle, which requires light, and the dark reactions, dark cycle, which do not require direct light. When light penetrates cells containing chloroplasts, striking chlorophyll molecules embedded in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast organelles, it initiates the light reaction. The light-dependent reaction involves a reaction center, which performs the primary energy conversion reactions of photosynthesis. By harnessing the energy of a photon using its pigment molecules such as chlorophyll, or by the transfer from surrounding light harvesting complexes, and using that energy to release two electrons into an electron transport chain. Light harvesting complexes are proteins and photosynthetic pigments that surround the reaction centers. These complexes provide additional means of collecting light and transferring the energy toward the reaction center. Pigments such as chlorophyll are embedded in special antenna proteins that make up light harvesting complexes. These pigments form an antenna-like network for gathering light. The reaction centers and light harvesting complexes make up pigment systems where the primary photochemistry takes place. These pigment systems are represented by photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. Photosystem 2 happens first. It involves the process of chlorophyll activated by light energy and has two of its electrons move to a higher energy state. The chlorophyll replaces those electrons by tearing electrons from a water molecule. The water molecule falls apart, releasing the oxygen molecules as gas. Photosystem 2 obtains electrons by oxidizing water and releases the remaining oxygen as a byproduct of the oxidation of water. The electrons are eventually passed on to enzymes that transfer the electrons to photosystem 1 in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplasts. The electrons that move to a higher state are captured by an electron acceptor. From here, the electrons are passed through an electron transport chain, which are a series of electron acceptor molecules, each at a lower energy level than the last. The electrons progressively lose energy as they are passed down the electron transport system from one molecule to the next. Some of the lost energy is used to make ATP from ADP and PI. The electrons are passed down until they reach a second pigment system. This second pigment system is represented as the photochemical system 1. Even though the photochemical system 1 is the second part of the light reaction, it is called system 1 because it is believed to have evolved first. In the photochemical system 1, the light energy boosts the electron to another electron acceptor at a higher energy level than the previous photochemical system 2. From this acceptor, the electrons are passed to a nucleotide of adenine called NADP oxidized form and then reduces to NADPH. The reduced NADPH, along with the ATP formed during electron transport, will enter the dark Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle, light independent reactions. 
The dark reaction, carbon fixation, consists of three phases of light-independent reactions. C3 cycle. Despite the name, these reactions do not occur in the dark or at night. The dark cycle takes place outside the grana, in the stroma. The dark reaction is where carbon dioxide from the air is used to form glucose. This is where plants manufacture food from water and carbon dioxide. Light is not directly necessary to drive this part of the mechanism. The energy comes from the ATP and high energy electrons in the NADPH that were produced in the light reaction. The dark reaction consists of complex steps which join a molecule of carbon dioxide to a 5-carbon sugar molecule, RUBP, already present in the cell. The additional carbon results in an unstable 6-carbon sugar, which immediately splits into two 3-carbon sugars. Rubisco is an important enzyme protein that acts as a catalyst for the first stage of the reaction. The bonds between the carbon atoms are broken and reformed, eventually producing two molecules of 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde, or G3P, also abbreviated PGAL. The G3P is the prime end product of photosynthesis. The G3P then enters into a number of metabolic pathways. It can be used as food or converted to food stores in the form of glucose, starch, proteins, or fats. By continuing to use energy from ATP, most of the G3P is changed back into RUBP, so the cycle can begin again. Phase 1. Rubisco, with the use of carbon dioxide, catalyzes the carboxylation of the 5-carbon RUBP sugar molecule to produce an unstable 6-carbon sugar, which splits into two 3-carbon sugars. Phase 2. The enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase, with the use of ATP produced in the light-dependent stage, catalyzes the phosphorylation of the 3-carbon sugars to produce 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, and ADP. Then the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase with the use of NADPH produced in the light dependent stage catalyzes the reduction of 1,3-B-PGA to produce G3P. The NADPH is oxidized and becomes NADP+. Phase 3. In the last stage of the Calvin cycle, RUBP is regenerated. 5 G3P molecules are used to produce 3 5-carbon RUBP molecules. <laughs>